I was active duty Navy and on TV at the same time. So I'll tell you how I did it. This is how I worked it. It was a complete accident. I'm in the Navy. I'm stationed in San Diego, and I'm listening to radio station, radio station Z90. And they said, we're looking for the funniest black comedian in San Diego. <laughs> and this is before the Internet was really popping. So I pulled my truck over, wrote the phone number down, and then I called it when I got back to my apartment, and I entered the contest. Now, I didn't say I was white or black. I just entered. I mean, I put a little bass in my voice. I go, hey, what's up? Is this a contest? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to enter that shit. Yeah, yeah. What time? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Gary. Gary. It's hard to make Gary sound gangster. <laughs> Gary. Yeah, G to the A to the R to the Y. <laughs> the fuck was I doing? <laughs> Last name Owen as an oh, shit. <laughs> so I entered, I entered the contest and ended up winning it, right? So I was the funniest black comedian. Keep in mind, it was fucking San Diego. It went a lot of motherfuckers there. They, what funny was Nick Cannon was in that motherfucker. Nick Cannon was like 17. He was young. But he was in the contest. But I remember I won it. So first prize, you got to audition for Comic View. So I was San Diego. I got off early one day. Drove up to L.A., auditioned, and then I got on the show. And they used to film the whole season in a week. So it'd be like, they'd film Monday through Friday, five episodes a day. So they get 25 episodes in in one week. So I just took a week's leave, went up and filmed, came back down to the base, thought nothing of it. A couple months later, now I'm Aaron as one of the comics on Comic View, but I'm still in the military. And I was a cop. So, motherfucker, I'm waving cars on the base, and I'm on TV, and every now and then a brother pull on the base and be like, motherfucker. Was you on TV last night? Yeah, yeah. Keep it going. Have a good day. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a couple months later, Curtis Gatson used to be the head of BT. He calls my apartment, and he's like, uh, you know, I want you to come up. I want to meet with you real quick. I said, all right. So I, the next day I got up a little early, drove up to L.A. I met with him. He said, yeah, we, we talked about it. We want to make you the host next year at Comic View. I was like, oh, shit. I still had six months left of my enlistment in the Navy. They weren't filmed for another three months. So I had to go back to my command and ask to get out three months early. So I'm sitting there telling my command, hey, I got a TV show. Can I get out? And they're looking at me like, motherfucker, we heard of some lies. <laughs> but this is the best one yet. I think it all was like public access. <laughs> so BET had to fax my contract to my command because my Navy don't know I'm on TV trying to tell jokes. BET don't know I'm in the Navy. They had to fax my contract down so they looked it over. So I had to go in front of a board to try to get out three months early. I'll never forget. I get to this board. There's four people in it, right? It's three black dudes and one white dude. So when I walked in the room, I go, okay, this is definitely a jury of my peers. <laughs> the odds are looking good right now. <laughs> and my chief was actually one of the people on the board members, and he pulled me aside before I walked in. He goes, Gary, we, we know what's going on, but we're going to make sure you're good. I said, appreciate that, chief. Now I'm standing in front of the board. Why the one white dude, the warrant officer, didn't want to let me out? He's like, no. I need him. I need him. <laughs> like, my ass was the difference between the Navy making it or not for the next three months. Like, if, they, if I get out, Navy's going to shit, basically. <laughs> but I, I kid you not, I wish, I wish everybody in this room at some point in your life could just have that feeling of independence and empowerment I had at that moment. Because I'm sitting there pleading my case to these board members, right? And it hit me. I go, oh, my God, wait. I'm not asking. I'm telling them. I'm getting out because I don't care. Honorable, dishonorable, I could care less because I've never been hired for a movie, TV show, or comedy club, and they asked for my military record. It's never happened. It just hit me. I go, oh, I don't care. Ain't nobody care if I'm in the military or not. So I just told him, I said, sir, with all due respect, I'm not asking. I'm getting out. He goes, you can't tell me what you're going to do. You can't tell me what you're going to do. I said, I will do a line of cocaine on your desk <laughs> if that's what it takes then that's what I'll do. That warrant officer stood up, what the fuck he say to me? What the fuck he say to me? And my chief looked at him. He said, I think he said do a line of cocaine on your desk. So I got out. 